Y'all take a look at this. We have what is essentially a new B plus style motorhome. So it's on a transit van chassis. And this thing is really, really cool. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And for you returning viewers, I am no longer at the Hershey RV Show. I am now here in Elkhart, Indiana at what is a industry event that they call either Open House or RV Expo. And I'm here in the Jayco display and we're looking at an Integra product here right now. So this is gonna be from Integra Coach and it's new for 2024. It is the Condor and this is basically a B plus style motorhome is what I would consider it because it's on a transit Ford chassis. So that's a van style chassis, just like, you know, how these are a Ram and Sprinter van chassis. This is going to be a Ford transit chassis, similar style, but it has more of a box where the RV portion is built on it. So it has a lot more space than something like a van will have. It's a little bit bigger profile than a van, but it's still not like a class C motorhome like you see with these Integras there that have the full bed over the driver's cab. So definitely a very, very popular style that is, um, we're seeing a lot more brands come out with their own version of this style motorhome. And this one here, I mean, let's just do a walk around the outside real quick because it is a nice looking motorhome. This thing looks really, really clean. Definitely caught my attention as soon as I walked by this display. I mean, very neutral in the colors with just white and black and some gray worked in and it looks really nice. I think Condor is a great name that they chose for this product as well. And look at this right away. They have factory installed Starlink on here for your Wi-Fi. I mean, what a great idea. I've not seen this from anybody else yet. This is the first brand I have seen that is factory installed Starlink on your RV. So that is incredible. I love that. I don't know if that's gonna be, a, or if that's gonna be a standard feature. Um, that would be something that would be great to have more information on. If I do get more information on that, I will add that down below in the description of this video. Um, you can see there's also a pop top on the top and they do install the solar on that pop top. So that's going to give extra sleeping space inside when you need it. And then as we come back around here, we'll kind of start up front and then work our way back. But let's go through some of these features that are on here real fast. So you can see on here, let's just read through this. It's on the Ford Transit 350 HD all-wheel drive chassis. It's a gas engine on this. You have the Easy Ride ride and handling package that has helper springs and a rear stabilizer bar. Has a suspension upgrade with a two inch lift on here, two inch thick sidewalls, a 38 inch by 48 inch dinette lounge. I really like the way they did their seating in here. You'll see that when we go inside. You have enclosed holding tanks. So those are gonna um, help keep them warm whenever you are running your furnace and things like that all-terrain tires with custom matte black wheels and an optional pull-out kitchen, which this one does have, and a 14-foot uh, patio awning, seven-foot rear awning, and Starlink satellite uh, internet system. So I think those are all gonna be optional things since it says optional there. So I think that just answered my question. But again, this is an Integra product, and I'm gonna zoom out on the camera so we can get a little bit better perspective of everything. And we're gonna start with just looking at these wheels here really nice looking wheel that you have and it's a bf goodridge tire it's the all-terrain tire and it is a uh two two twenty five seventy five r16 tire see your suspension up in there as well looks pretty nice what you got for a suspension setup and then as you come back this way see the wheels back here definitely look really really clean this is your optional kitchen space so has a couple different features. You're gonna have the two burner stove here on top so you can cook there. And then it does have this powered cooler or essentially a refrigerator that will pull out as well. So it has another layer to this tray that will pull out and then all that will stow back into that space. And then back through here, you also have an outdoor shower connection. It's gonna be hard for me to get my camera back in there, but an outdoor shower connection. So you do have a campsite water source as well. Outlet right there and then you're going to have Let's see what's in this space through here. I think it's a propane bottle. Yeah, you have a what looks like a 20 pound propane bottle through there. And then down underneath here, this is a propane quick connect line. 
as we come back this way the cool thing about these motorhomes is check out all the storage that you're gonna get um it does have slam latch baggage doors on there and let me open up two of these doors so we can get kind of a full perspective sometimes tough to open with just one hand there you go so strut assisted on these doors you can see all the storage space that you have back through here really really nice storage they give you this netting in here as well so you can put some additional items up in that space quick easy access to your water lines back through here so I like that you have that quick access to those components there these are motion activated lights so you actually can just leave those on and whenever you open the doors the lights will just turn on down here you have the similar style flooring you might see in a toy hauler rv or toy hauler fifth wheel and then you have this tie down system through the back where you have multiple different rings that you can secure things in and that's pretty much everything back in the space oh and of course you got to point out here these are metal racks as well that you can adhere things to or you know hang things on whatever you want to use that space for and then you definitely can feel the thickness in the wall with a two inch thick wall there as well back through here it does have the lipper retractable ladder so you'll have that already here on board and then again slam latch doors on those these look like they are a dual pane window um, just from looking at it from right here that looks like that's got to be a dual pane window and you have the backup camera already installed and there's an awning that comes over the top here over this back area so you'll have awning on this side and awning on this side and they both have led lights up in the awning down underneath here it looks like you do have a towing hitch off the back and this is going to be rated for 5,000 pounds so it can tow up to 5,000 pounds it can handle a 500 pound tongue weight there so if you do want to tow off the back of this motorhome you do have the ability to be able to do that um, over here you can see these lights you have a light here and i like how you just have a power switch right there Ooh, multiple different um, intensities three different brightnesses there and you have the same thing on the back end as well through here this is going to be water connection so you have the nautilus water management system very easy to use outdoor shower here as well so you have two outdoor shower connections plus you have a built-in water filtration system and then this is going to be where your dump station is so you can dump your tanks 30 amp power cord connection here additional plug to add more solar if you wanted to have solar off the side of your rv you're going to have a cassette style black tank so this is going to be um, it's locked right now but you basically have a suitcase looking thing that you pull out of here and that's going to be your black tank so anytime you use the toilet that's what it's going to drain into and that will allow you to take that virtually anywhere you can go and dump it in any toilet or anything like that in the world that you want so gives you a little bit more flexibility um, down through here i think this is just going to be an access panel because I, there's not really room for storage down through there and through here little bit of shallow storage space down underneath here you have your generator so it's going to have a 2800 watt gas onan generator from cummins and then you have your solid steps on each side entering into the chassis here or into the driver's cab and open this up you do have a cargo capacity of 1176 pounds and we're going to go ahead and close that up so it stops dinging at me get another look at your wheels here and the front end of this motorhome i just really really like the color i mean the the silver up front with the um transit cab here and then the white and black it just looks really really clean really modern and i like it but of course y'all let me know what you think down below in the comments let me know what you like and what you don't like and maybe you agree with me maybe you disagree with me um, but we're gonna walk inside now and you can see here with jaco they have a two-year basically bumper to bumper warranty and then a three-year structural warranty so that's going to be better than just about anybody else in the industry and i said jaco i think but it's integra um, we're in the jaco integra um, booth here so they have jaco integra starcraft and highland ridge but with integra that's pretty impressive most companies only do a one-year base warranty and you're getting a two-year here with integra now as we go inside i should also mention at this event that i'm at because it's an industry only event it's not like a you know sales event necessarily this is something where they do not have pricing displayed so i do not know exact pricing what that will be because they're not here being displayed to you know sell to consumers so they don't have any pricing listed 
So unfortunately, I don't know if I do get that information, I'll add it down below in the description, but sometimes it's kind of tough because I don't even know if there's a dealership across the US that has one in stock yet. So it's hard to get a price since a lot of times pricing is set by the dealerships, not necessarily the manufacturer. And I could put the MSRP if I find it, but the MSRP will not be the sales price. Um, sales prices typically fall well below the MSRP. Real quickly, I wanna take a second to ask y'all for something, because if you've been watching my channels for a while, you know I very rarely, if ever, ask for anything. But I'm here filming with all these brands today, and a lot of y'all probably don't know, to do this and to make this possible, I'm working like 18 hour days to do this. I'm out here filming for 12 hours, and then I don't just get to go home and relax after that. I have to edit the video content when I get home, and I pretty much edit that up until the minute I go to sleep, so there's videos to be uploaded. So I feel like it's appropriate that I can ask you for one small favor, and that is there's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments to my other YouTube channel that is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company, and there's gonna be new exciting video content coming on that channel here real soon that I've already started working on, and I don't want you to miss the first video so please go subscribe to that channel if you appreciate what I do here and like this stuff here you will like what's coming there as well and that's my one ask for you is to go subscribe to that channel I would really appreciate it now let's get back into this video as you open this door here it is a magnet that's holding your screen door in place so it's a nice solid magnet there and then this is a metal framed out um, screen door it also has a privacy shade on here so nice that they work this in so you do get the privacy shade on that you can see how it comes from the top down there. And then you have the powered step as you walk in, of course. And when we go inside, let's see. One of the things I like about these motorhomes is you have an all lights on and off master switch right here. I don't know why. I mean, it'd be nice if we saw this in more towable RVs as well. But I love how you just have an all on, all off switch. So it's nice to get all your lights on quick and easy. Now, as we walk in here, this is not, you know, some incredibly new design but this seating arrangement is not something we've seen from this style motorhome which i think is really cool you let me know what you think but this looks like a really comfortable seating space of course you're going to have seat belts here in this area as well so you can have passengers sitting in this area while you go down the road but it's going to be like an l-shaped sofa essentially and i think it's going to give you a really comfortable seating space you have the table here as well the table can come out and be removed if you want to remove it so you'll have that table there and then all of your windows love these features where you have the bug screen that comes up from the bottom here. <laughs> and then I pulled it up uneven, of course. Have the bug screen that comes up from the bottom. There you go. And you have the privacy shade that comes down from the top. And then these two also can just kind of connect together and you can move them up and down together. So I like that style window. And then when you open these things up, you just remove these latches and then it pops out that way and kind of swings up. So you can really get these windows opened up really well and get a nice breeze going through here. These are dual pane window that I'm looking at. So you will have that as well, which makes it really quiet in here. Very, very quiet when you step inside. That dual pane windows really help with that. And then we'll come up front real quick. You can see it, with your Ford chassis, you get a nice modern digital display there. And then you have a standard dash here on the transit. Get a good amount of storage space up through here with USB type C chargers. That's nice because that's going to be a much faster charger than a standard USB. And then you have your storage space up through there. Cup holders, another USB port there in the dash. Some additional storage over here as well. Cup holder there. Storage in the door. And that's pretty much it. It looks like you have cruise control on here, of course. And um, it's going to have you know, where you can adjust your following distance with the cruise control. So it's going to have your modern safety features as well. And that's pretty much everything. And then these seats here, they will swivel around. So you'll have that additional seating space that you'll get from the seating in this area. Nice big storage spaces up through here. So these go back very far. And this is, ooh, it's actually carpet line. I did not expect that. So yeah, that's a carpet line storage space there. It's kind of like a really... Um, it's not a tall carpet or anything like that, but it is carpet lined nonetheless. And then again, big storage space up through there. You can fit a lot of stuff. Like I feel like my whole duffel bag would fit in that space. You have an Insignia TV. This looks to be about a 32 inch screen TV or so. And then you have an LED light bar up above that with a diffuser on it. So it has that kind of glowing effect. Almost looks like a lightsaber or something like that. Um, let's knock out this pop top portion real quick. You have this Lippert 
bunk ladder. Now I really like that they're going to these retractable ladders instead of like a metal ladder that this will store so much easier. And the base on these parts that you step on seem a little bit wider, so they shouldn't hurt your feet quite as bad. Um, but I love that these will collapse down and store a whole heck of a lot easier than the metal ladders we were used to seeing. So this is something that's relatively new for 2024. And then you have this space up here. I mean, this is definitely a big enough space to sleep two adults. Um, I can see myself, even if I camped in this thing by myself, like I would still want to sleep up here because it would just be a cool experience. You can open up, you know, you have these flaps that will open up here so that you can let a breeze come through. Um, you can have a screen there as well so you can keep the bugs out. There's a light up here and this light actually is just magnetized. So there's magnets holding it there on that top portion of that wall or of the roof. And that can come off so you can use that wherever. But it's definitely a comfortable space for two adults. Plus like if you look right here, they worked in uh, USB ports for you. So you do have USB ports right there so you can charge your phone. And it does have this additional um, kind of like cargo netting here. I believe this is going to be to just cover the top portion of this hole here that you uh, that I'm peeking my head through that way you don't fall through. So that's going to be a nice space there. Give you kind of a cool um, immersion with your environment while you're out camping for sure. Now as we come back down, you have LED lights up above your cabinetry. Looks really nice. And storage space up in here. So these have latches on them so they stay closed while you're going down the road. Back this way, your kitchen. Get a nice solid surface countertop. So got that solid, or actually, you know what? This is, I was incorrect on that. This is actually like a wrapped kind of countertop material here. It's not like that stone feeling countertop. And then have, I love this. It's like a cutting board style, um, whatever you call it, sink cover. So I really like that. It's a huge single basin round sink. Definitely gives you a ton of space in there. So I appreciate that. You have a stainless steel faucet. It does have the disconnecting portion there so you can move that around. And then you have a nice big window right here so you can see out into your campsite from this area here. You have a JBL speaker that it will come with. So you get that up in the corner. Storage space up through here outlet there and then you have a microwave here this is going to have the air fryer function on it or convection oven same thing so you do have the air fryer function which is why they're not going to give you an oven that way you can get more storage space because this is basically going to double as your oven right there down underneath here let's check out some of your storage space Got your storage underneath the sink there. And then you have three drawers here all along this side. These should all be the same size drawer. So I'll just open one of those, give you an idea of the space. So not a bad amount of kitchen storage space. Definitely getting more with them, you know, not putting an oven or something like that in here. And then back behind me, there's more because this here will open up and this has three shelves back through there. And you can see the, you know, the shelving and stuff is like a very, very light gray. It almost has a little touch of like purple to it and it looks really nice with the style of cabinet doors that they're giving you um this is going to be where you monitor your solar power connections here this is your truma or not truma sorry your aqua hot heating system so tankless on-demand water heater and then you have your touchscreen control panel here this will control everything on your motorhome very easy to use also will connect to your uh, phone as well so you can use that there now, as we keep working our way back, you get a really tall refrigerator. So it is going to have the freezer portion up in the top. So you get your freezer portion through there. And then you'll have all of these shelves here for your refrigerator. Such an interesting size refrigerator, not conventional by any means, you know, to what you'd see in a home or something like that. But it is a nice, good, tall refrigerator for this space. It is perfectly um, fit for this space up in here. Oh, look at that. I did not expect to see that. That looks like an induction cooktop right there. So you actually have a plug-in induction cooktop, so you can use that. That's smart too. So that frees up your countertop space. That way they didn't have to put, you know, a burner on the countertop. You just have a plug-in induction cooktop and then you have right there as well. I can't tell if that's an induction or if it's just like an electric 
uh, stove, but I have a feeling it's induction because usually it is when they have it in that fashion. And then back through here, this is going to be your bathroom. Now, this is a nice, large bathroom space. A huge base there that you have as far as like where you can stand to take a shower. Has stainless steel uh, features here with your shower head and your controls for the shower. Window in here as well, so you can have that extra light coming in. And then it does have a light in here. You have a nice big mirror there, so you can see yourself getting ready. And this should open there we go magnet latch on that so it's a little difficult but get that open you have some storage space there some shelving space altar here and then you do have this that is going to be like a clothing rod that you can use so you can hang towels or clothes or anything like that it also does have a fan up through here so that is your fan and then when i stand in here this is actually oh yeah this is impressive like you can see here I'm 6'2", and I mean, I barely have to duck down to get underneath this shower head. So that is a great height on that. And you can see I didn't have to duck at all to fit in the shower. So if you're like 6'3 or under, you're going to fit in this thing pretty comfortably. It also has a curtain right there. So this will protect your door while you're taking a shower. Or it will just allow you to leave this door open if you want and not have to close it necessarily to get you know, a good amount of privacy. You can see how the door stops right here. It does have a magnet that will catch it back up here. So that'll also be how you can kind of get your privacy to the bedroom space. And then when you walk back into the bedroom, you're going to have two twins or two single person beds, but this can also make into one big section as well for sleeping. You see, you have this additional cushion here to allow you to do that. This is a wood backed cushion as well. But it also even looks like you would be able to sleep this way. I mean, I feel like a lot of people would have no problem just sleeping that way too, depending on how tall you are. Or, you know, sleep diagonal. There's so many different ways you can make this work. But this will turn into a huge bed space when you make this entire thing into a bed. But I could see myself just leaving it in this configuration and even just making this work because it just wouldn't be worth the hassle to set this up and take this down every time. Back through here, you'll have storage all in this space. So open this up, nice tall storage space through there. And let's see if this is fairly similar on the other side. This is actually bigger than the other side. So even bigger storage through here. You do have a clothing rod through there so you can hang some clothes. That is nice. Good spot to hang clothes. Open this up. And these are just gonna be pull out drawers. And hopefully these are all the same. I hate when I don't open all of them because I'm like, <laughs> it's, it's going to be the time I don't open all of them that something is different. And then as we come back through here, this looks like your spot to put a TV on the wall. So you can put a TV here. This M7 mount, I don't know exactly what this mount is for, to be honest. If you've seen this before, know what this is for. Let me know down below in the comments. And then you have more storage up above as well. Your AC is in this area, so that's going to help keep you nice and cool while you are resting. And it is a ducted AC, so you can see your AC vents. But you also can have the air just dumped down out of this AC as well by opening this up. So you can do either one. Storage up through here, you can see that's your Starlink um, Wi-Fi connection there. And then you have outlets through here. Really nice that they installed Starlink from the factory because if a dealership were to install Starlink, that looks like that's more of the Starlink equipment, um, that would require a dealership to start cutting holes through the roof, running wiring, stuff like that. And it's much better to have the manufacturer do stuff like that as they're building it versus having to cut things open after everything's already been built. So that is a really neat feature that I'm glad they're doing. And yeah, this space is just very comfortable. It's, I mean, I could easily see myself traveling in a motorhome like this. I think these motorhomes, this style is so cool. And this Integra especially has a really nice looking exterior and interior. It's very bright in here. It's very neutral. You can add your own pops of color in here and give it your own touch and feel. And yeah, I'm a fan of it. But of course, I want to know what y'all think. So y'all let me know down below in the comments what you think about this motorhome. And again, if you missed it, because I'm at a industry event, this is not a sales event where they're not, you know, trying to sell these RVs to consumers. I don't have exact pricing 
and pricing will be set by a dealer on something like this. So if you're interested in this RV, want to purchase this RV, you'll need to find an Integra dealer that carries it and they'll be able to get you pricing information. But if you have any other questions or anything or anything that I missed, let me know down below in the comments and I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me know what you think. And again, this is an Integra Condor. It's technically like a class B plus motorhome. And I think it's pretty dang cool. But that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And until next time, live firmly unbound.